What about UL listed and other certification standards? So the Let IBC provides a performance-based framework for building design and construction, starting by the International Fire Code, and the most famous one is the NFPA standard founded in the United States. Similar to NFPA, there is European and UK standards like EN and BS. Hello, fire engineers, and welcome back to the platform of fire engineering with me, Mohammed al -Hamad. Today, we are diving into a critical topic that for sure you have used or heard about it in the fire engineering field, which is the international fire codes. We'll explore the differences between major fire codes like NFBA, IBC, BS, and EN code. And also, we'll discuss the key certification standards such as UL, FM, DDS, and LPCB. So ready to enhance your knowledge in the fire engineering? Let's get started. Fire codes are critical regulations designed to ensure the safety and the protection of life and the property from fire. So do you know the differences between NFPA and EN code? And what about UL listed and other certification standards? Let's dive in and clear all differences. Starting by the International Fire Code, and the most famous one is the NFPA standard founded in the United States. NFPA develops more than 300 codes and standards intended to minimize the risk and effects of fire. It covers all aspects of fire safety, including prevention, protection, and suppression. Key codes like NFPA 1, NFPA 72, and NFPA 13, and it is widely adapted in the USA, and many other countries recognize and use NFPA standards, which applied commonly as well in the UAE and Middle East countries. Similar to NFPA, there is European and UK standards like EN and BS. Before we jump into the European and UK standards, let's talk also about the IBC, which is the International Building Code, also founded in USA, and it includes provisions for all aspects of building construction, including fire safety. So the IBC provides a performance-based framework for building design and construction, while the NFB offers detailed and prospective requirements for fire protection and life safety. Now talking about the EN standards founded by European Committee for Standardization, it provides a harmonized standards across Europe, ensuring uniformity in fire safety measures. Key standards like EN54, EN12845, EN13501, and it's adapted by EU member states. British standards, developed by the British Standards Institution, and it is a comprehensive guidelines for various aspects of fire safety and building construction. Key standards like BS5839, and it is mandatory in the UK. So these are the most common international fire codes that you may refer during your design or project. While it's commonly advised to focus on one of them to follow as a guideline specifically considering that all codes are similar in content and focus on fire safety. When it comes to fire safety and certification, four major organizations stand out globally. UL, FM, VDS, and LPCB. Each of these organizations plays a critical role in ensuring the safety and performance of fire protection products and systems. UL founded in the USA. UL develops and certifies a wide range of products, including fire safety equipment, FM, part of FM Global, founded in the USA. FM focuses on products and services that prevent property loss. FM approved products meet strict testing criteria, widely respected in North America and beyond. VDS, based in Germany, VDS offers testing and certifications primarily for the fire protection and security systems. Its certification is highly recognized in Europe, specifically in Germany. LPCB, a part of PRE Global in the UK, LPCB provides trusted testing and certification services for fire and security systems. The LPCB mark indicates compliance with the UK and the European standards. Understanding these international fire codes and certification standards is crucial for ensuring safety and compliance in the projects. Remember, each country may have its own standards, so adhering to local fire codes during design and implementation is essential. Well, engineers, we have covered a lot today, so if you are finding this content helpful, remember to like, share, and subscribe the platform channel on YouTube for future updates. As well, I will keep the link in the description for the Instagram page, Telegram group, and to connect with me on LinkedIn. Keep learning, stay safe. Until next time, stay tuned for the next video by the platform of Fire Engineering with me, Mohammed Al-Hamad.